In the first three parts of the footwork tutorial, we focused on general aspects of running on court, and now we will have a detailed look on specific techniques, starting out with lunges. I already said that you can use lunges all around the court, and in this tutorial I will tell you why you can use them or why you should use them, then what you should focus on technically, and give you also some tip, tips for your daily training. Lunges are useful in all parts of the court, especially in the front court there, you will use them most often. And usually always try to get your right foot in front if you're right-handed player, so always use your dominant leg for lunges. There are a few exceptions. For example, if the shuttle comes really close to me on my left side here as a right-handed player, it can make sense also to make a small lunge with the left leg, but in most cases, try to use the right leg. If I bring my right leg to the front, I can also bring my right shoulder to the front and you can see I have a really long reach with my arm so my center of gravity my body weight is still quite close to the center of the court but I can get almost all the way to the net and the problem is if I do the lunge with my wrong leg you will see my right shoulder is in the back because my hip is turned the other way around so I don't have that extra reach so always try to bring the right leg in front if you want to get these shuttles at the net. Having the center of gravity closer to the center of the court, of course, makes it also easier and faster to recover after the shot. So if I'm standing here, the way is a lot longer to go to the back or to the center of the court than compared to here. And I also have a, a leg where I can push back. If I'm standing like this, we already talked about it in the previous footwork tutorials, I cannot really push back towards the middle. I need a foot in front of me. And also the lunge helps me to right after my shot, push with my leg in the front and go back quickly, recover quickly and be ready for the next shot. There are some important technical key points for lunges and we will start with the foot. First important thing also to avoid injuries is the foot position. Your foot, especially when you have a lot of speed and make a big lunge, should always point into the direction where you're going. If you turn it and have a lot of speed, there is a big risk of twisting your ankle. So try to avoid that in any case. Good footwork is very, very quiet in the corners and also looks very fluent. Like there's no hard stop also in the corners. It looks like the players flows into the corner and ride backwards. There's no real hard cut during the movement. To do that, try always to get your heel down first when you do lunges and then roll on the rest of the foot. If you land on the full foot, you can already hear that. Then you have these hard stop this loud noise and that will cost energy and also makes it harder, harder for you to recover. So try to focus on a smooth landing here that will help you also to get smoothly out of the corner and also faster out of the corner. Another thing you should try is try to keep the knee behind your foot or maximum over your foot when you do lunges. If the knee goes over your foot, in most cases, your body weight will also be over the foot and now I have the problem, I cannot push back. I have to make an extra step with the left leg and that will cost a lot of space here and in the end, a lot of time and makes it in most cases impossible to get the next shot um, if the opponent plays to the rear court. So we want to recover fast. So make this, the step as big that you can still push back and your body weight is not falling over your foot. Another important key point, upper body. Try to be as stable as possible and have a stable core also. That will give you a lot more control in your shots. And also, if you can, stay upright. If you fall forwards, um, that we already said before, the center of gravity should be behind your foot. If I fall forwards, it may easily happen that yeah, I cannot push back anymore. So in some situations, when you have a lot of pressure, you will 
have to go forwards also to get some extra reach. But if you can, try to stay upright and that will also make it easier to get back. A very important detail that is often overseen is the left arm. The left arm can help you on one hand to get some extra stability if you raise it and also will help you to get some extra reach. You can see now if I have the left arm here in front of me or in the side, my right shoulder is usually also not completely in the front. If I turn it back, the right shoulder will also go a little bit more to the front and I get some centimeters um, that I can cover now with this. So if you go to the corner, try to always be in line with racket head and my left arm and they are pointing directly towards where I'm going or where I want to hit the shot. A very important point and interesting point for experienced players is the left leg when I do lunges. Try here always, if you're high at the shuttle and have a high center of gravity, you can leave the left foot in the back and that makes it easier for a fast recovery back to the center. If you have a lot of pressure and you're down here, that will make it extremely hard to push back. You need a lot of power here in the right leg or here for me, I need a lot of power here to push back and it's also not that fast and um, not that efficient. So in those situations, it makes sense to pull the left leg towards me. The more pressure I have, the more I have to pull it forwards to get back out of the corner smoothly and that will save a lot of energy and in most cases it will also save some time if I don't go in like this, if I go in like this. A thing I see with technical training um, with a lot of players is that they try to cut everything in small pieces and then afterwards they try to put these movements back together and it looks a bit more like they are robots on court. So I would recommend especially for example like here when you train lunges try to use or try to train the whole movement. So always do a start, approach to the corner and also recovery. So not only train the lunge but try to train the whole movement. For beginners it makes sense to start just with shadow training as I did. If you're a bit more experienced use a shuttle, um, for example just feeding or flying shuttle and also different variations here. For experienced players I just showed you the thing with the left leg. Try to create some different situations with a lot of pressure and with less pressure so you can focus on the left leg and find out am I in a situation where I can leave the left leg in the rear and push back easily or do I have to pull it a little bit towards me so I can get back to the center with less energy. Okay, so much for lunges. In the next tutorials we will cover the rear court and also cover some different jumping movements um, during shots. If you have any further questions for lunges, just write it down in the comments. Um, also leave a like and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And see you next time. Bye bye.